Hello channel friends, this is Dopey Cupin 38's Weapons, Weapons, Weapons. And today I'm doing a follow-up on the videos that I did regarding uh, pepper spray and their carry. Well, finally got a system that works just right. As you remember, I'll go over it a little bit. I purchased the 2 ounce after finding out that in California you can't have a 4 ounce. Well, I got over being disgusted about that because I still, regardless of what the California laws are, I'm going to have to have a system that works. So, if you remember, order these. This piece of junk fell apart the moment I tried to flex it a little bit because this fit in here extremely tight and you're unable to take it out. Well, goodbye. What I found was through a seller on eBay called On Scene Incorporated. There had these holders. Now this holder is a nylon. It's got a belt loop right here. Let's see if I can get it for the camera. There we go. There's a little belt loop. That's from HWC. Now, HWC is this company right here. Here it is in the package that is going to come to you. And, and it's Hamburger Woolen Company Incorporated. Well, they absolutely have a Bonnaroo container here to hold your pepper spray. And I'm going to show you. This is fantastic. It does everything that I want it to do, and it does it right. If you remember, in the other video, I showed where I'd had to put some friction tape on the pepper spray because it dropped down in the nylon holder so deep that the, it was impossible to get your hands on and I wound up having to hollow out part of the other nylon holder so that you could even get your hands on it. That's not a problem with this one. Watch this. I put it in. Okay, if I need to get it out, boom. It's just that easy. And I've already tested it. I put it on my belt and I took it with me for uh, a few walks when I was out and about. And uh, discreetly I'd pull it out to see if anybody would notice. And no, they didn't notice. Not only that, it's very easy to get to. Now, right now, the new snap, of course, they're, they're always a little tight. Okay, but that's how it looks. That's going to be on your belt, so it's going to be good and secure, and it doesn't wobble around, and it won't try to rotate, because the uh, stitching on here is just wide enough for a standard uh, home belt. I don't know if it'll work on a big uh, policeman's utility belt, but they wouldn't be carrying this size anyway. But for the average home user, this system is going to be just what you're looking for. It's just what the doctor ordered. You take the snack came, comes off rather easily. It's going to be on you, and you can just reach down and pull it out. And just like I showed you to, before, you can flip the lever and deploy. Now, one thing uh, I might do. I'm going to set this down is I'm going to put a little bit of friction tape, even though it comes out really easy, I'm going to put a little bit of friction tape on the back part here, and none on the front. And the reason for that's going to be so in the dark, or if I'm in a hurry, and I have to pull this out, I'm not going to be reaching around trying to figure out which way is forwards. All you'll have to feel, you're going to feel the friction tape, and it's going to be around the back. This is recessed here a little bit, see? So I'm going to put the friction tape around here. It's going to end where the nozzle would be at on both sides. So just by the feel of your hand, you're going to know where the nozzle is going to be pointing. You'll take it, flip it on, deploy it as you need. Hopefully you don't. But it's going to be really easy, I believe, having the friction tape on it to be able to sense it just with your fingers 
which way is forwards, which way is back. Because, let's face it, you don't always have time to prepare ahead if you're going to be using uh, pepper spray. This, for me, is going to be the system that I'll go with for my EDC for this summer. And I'll let you know if anything changes. But these work excellent. Like I said, I'm going to put it back in. You can see it. This comes down quite well. It holds it in place. Now, how much does it cost? Well, it's not cheap. But then again, that was a waste of money on the other one. And actually, the cost was barely different when, it, when it's all said and done. With the shipping, it was uh, $15, but there's no extra charge if you order an extra, if you order two of them. It was just one shipping fee, and the fee for the shipping was about 5 bucks. So all in all, when I ordered two of them, this one and this one's out of the package, that came to about 25 bucks for the, for the pair. That's not really a bad price considering it's it's your self-defense system, okay? This is for your own protection, so the money you spent isn't like you're just throwing it down the drain and it's not going to be used for something worthwhile. Now you could use it and save it and put it in your car or whatever you like, but if you're in uh, hot areas, remember... Be careful storing this stuff in a vehicle. We know vehicles get very, very hot in the summertime. So it might be worth your time to take it out, carry it on your person, whether it's in a windbreaker or in your pants pocket or anything like that. Or I, like you should be doing, it should be on your belt. But it's still good to have one in your car for a backup. So this is how it's going to work. This is my system. I'm going to be using this holder from HWC. And I got it through eBay, through OnScene Incorporated. I was very prompt. It got here right away. It took just a couple of days. It is a recommended seller. And this is the brand Hamburger Wooten Company Incorporated. And made in the USA. More and more items, I'm hoping, uh, will be made in the United States. It puts our own workers to work. Nothing against things being done overseas, but why get it over there if our own people can be manufacturing it? Well, this is just a quick follow-up video, but I'm really pleased with this system. I hope you try it for yourself. See what you think. This is W. Copeland 38's Weapons, Weapons, Weapons saying, I'll be back with more for you.